based on Inves 91S, which is likely to become a major cyclone in the next few days as it wraps and intensifies moving towards the southeast. At the moment though, it's off the coast of northern Madagascar and delivering significant rainfall to the area. With winds of 35 miles per hour, although uh, rather disorganized, the pressure around 1,000 millibars right now. Movement in the last few hours has been just west of south, but we expect more of a southeastward movement over the next few days and an acceleration as it passes the Masserine Islands. We're looking at Rodrigues for the highest uh, destruction potential. Doesn't look like this storm's going to make landfall anywhere, although there is, of course, a cone of uncertainty. Stage 2 uh, CDPS scale there for Rodrigues, and probably not so far off that in Mauritius as well. Here it is right now then at 8 a.m. local time, 16.3 south, 53 degrees east. Of course, still just a tropical disturbance, likely to become a depression later. 204 miles from Antalaha in Madagascar, 399 from Port Louis in Mauritius and 721 from Rodrigues, which it could eventually uh, make its closest pass to. No warnings in effect at this point either there. There's the cone from uh, Matteo, France and uh, those are the current intensity estimates right now. ASCAT going a little bit lower at around 30 miles per hour. So here is the expected cone then over the next few days. You can see there significant intensification as it passes through St. Brandon and then continuing on towards the southeast. This is our latest cone from Force 13. Over the next five days, of course, it is rather uncertain, mainly because of the just the first 24 to 48 hours. Once we get that far, we'll probably have a decent idea as to how strong and uh, just exactly where this system is going to get that cone of uncertainty the storm could pass anywhere in that cone in the next five days well this is what the uh, GFS model is saying first of all looking at the uh, precipitation graphic there you can see the bulk of the storm with quite a long tail along along the north there passing close to Rodriguez and then shooting off towards the southeast still powerful even when it does move further south what you'll also notice on that graphic there towards the northwest looks like a system also forming in the Mozambique channel that's quite long range there towards the six seven day mark uh, there it is forming as this current system moves away off the picture so that's interesting indeed to look at sea surface temperatures very warm towards the east moving further out to sea around 30 degrees celsius uh, near where the storm is right now it's about 26 maybe pushing 27. green areas showing tropical storm force winds and into the yellows there rather quickly expecting possibly rapid intensification there towards major hurricane status it depicted there by the oranges passing to the south of Rodrigues on the GFS forecast there, delivering tropical storm force winds to the island, and tropical storm force winds passing just off the coast of Mauritius is what they're currently going for right now. Here you can see it again, the HWRF calling for a Category 4 storm by the time we get to Day 4, the CDCX calling for a Category 3 and the most rapid intensification of all of those models. Wind shear is going to be very low for a good two days, possibly three. Sea surface temperatures will remain very warm and possibly warm up even further in the short term before starting to cool down when the storm passes the islands. Relative humidity not looking too bad either. Well here it is right now again on the satellite imagery, you can see a large amounts of convection but not particularly organised. The uh, centre of this system is uh, probably on the southern periphery of all of that action there. Um, the water vapour imagery showing it off best there, we've got no visibles at this time of course, day just uh, breaking over the area or not so long ago the satellite lagging a little bit. But you can see there again uh, significant flare ups towards the northwest that will continue whilst we wait and see uh, this storm get a center of circulation check out our new look cyclone tracker on the force 13 website for the latest up-to-date information you can also find us of course on our youtube channel search force 13 and also on facebook and twitter force 13 at force 13 on twitter for the latest updates you can also help the project become even better by becoming an Ultimate Fan on YouTube. To see the full list of Ultimate Fan benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash force13 slash join.
with a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.